Hi, and welcome to the 10-minute video summary of the message that was shared at Henrietta Christian Fellowship on the 18th of December, 2016. My name is Don Bold. I'm the pastor at the church. For the next 10 minutes, I'd like to share the highlights of this morning's message. Uh, we're in the midst of Advent, and uh, this is uh, the Sunday before Christmas, and I wanted to take a look at uh, what the different uh, gospel writers had to say about the birth of Christ, and, and I'd like to share with you just from the Gospel of John. But before we do, uh, I'd like to just take a moment and kind of give you the, 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 the heart of a person who lived in that time and the scriptures that they would have read. And there's this scripture, you know, that was typical in the hearts of the people who were waiting for God to send salvation and where they found their hope to keep trusting for it in Lamentations uh, 3, 21 through 26. This I recall to my mind, therefore I have hope. The Lord's loving kindnesses indeed never cease, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Listen to this. All right, so this is the, the, the heart of this person. It, it, it's, it never fails, okay? They're new every morning. All right, great is your faithfulness, he says to the Lord. The Lord is my portion. And notice, that's what I'm hoping for. You know, the thing that would make me happy in life, the thing that makes me feel fulfilled is that I get this. And what it is is the Lord. The Lord is my portion. All right, so uh, the Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I have hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the person who seeks him. It is good that he waits silently for the salvation of the Lord. And so this is the heart of this person who is waiting. You know, those shepherds on the hillside, uh, even those wise men who came looking uh, for, for uh, this child that was from heaven, uh, that they, you know, they, 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 there was this, this hope that they, 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 were, they were waiting. They were, uh, you know, just looking and constantly wondering, you know, when might this occur, this, this Savior from heaven, that, uh, the, this Messiah that they've been looking for. All right, and so uh, it's mentioned uh, in three of the Gospels, the birth of Christ, and probably the most uh, you know, cryptic uh, telling of it really is, is found in the Gospel of John. That's where we're going to go, John 1, uh, 1 through 13. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him. I want you to understand that about Jesus. And apart from him, nothing came into being that came into being. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. So when God breathed life into that lifeless figure that he made out of the dirt, all right, this is Christ breathing this life into He In him was life, and in that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness. Here we have the birth of Christ. The light, light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There came a man from, from God whose name was, was John. Okay, we're going to look a little forward in Jesus' life. He came as a witness to testify about the light so that all men w might believe through him. He was not the light, all right, but he came to testify about the light. There was, there was the true light which coming into the world enlightens every man. He was uh, in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and those who are his own did not receive him. But listen to this. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right, okay, the right, the power, the authority, to become the children of God, even to those who believe on his name. All right, so this is what our message is going to be about, is this, this thing where Jesus coming into the world, enlightened every person, every person on this planet, uh, is looking for something greater than themselves. Uh, and, uh, you know, those that, that have sought very much understand what they're looking for is God. And so Jesus comes, you know, having enlightened us to fulfill that which uh, we were drawn to. And he says this, that, you know, he came to the ones that you would have expected to receive, and they didn't receive him. But he said, to those uh, who do receive him, he gives authority, this this place, this, and, and the, the, this word is very interesting. It means the power of choice, the liberty of doing what one pleases. All right, so, you know, we don't, even having discovered Jesus, we don't have to become the children of God but we have the right to. All right, and so uh, Christ has come. You know, we believe that, that we are the children of God. God gave us the gift to make us a gift. All right, uh, God gave his son to us, and that we, having received the son, have the ability, the, the choice now, to become the children of God. And as we become the children of God, we become this blessing from God to others. All right, so, you know, Christ has come. We believe that we are children of God. He, God gave us a gift to make us a gift. But it, we are to have his character. If, if we are the children of God, we should have his character so that we can represent him. Philippians uh, 2, 14 through 16 says, Do all things without grumbling and disputing. Now, I want you to hear, if you'll just stop grumbling and stop disputing, what the outcome will be. It says here, 
so that you will prove yourselves blameless and innocent children of God above reproach in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among whom you appear as lights in the world holding fast the word of life. Wow, what a place to find yourself just by, by showing the character of God, by stopping the, the grumbling. All right, Ephesians 5, 8 through 11 uh, goes on to say, For you were formerly darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. All right, it goes on to say, Do not participate in the unfruitful uh, deeds of darkness, but instead even expose them. You know, this idea of being children of God. In the Old Testament, the children of God were the children of Israel. In the New Testament, they we're told that the, the children of God are any person that is uh, willing to allow themselves in life to be led by the Holy Spirit. Okay, so we're to be led by the Spirit. We're, we are heirs. And in order to, to give uh, God's grace, God has given to us not only the grace, but also the gift to be able to, to you know, minister that into the lives of others. Romans eight fourteen through 17 says, All who are being led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. The Spirit itself testifies with, with our spirit that we are the children of God. All right, 1 Peter 4, 10 says this, Each one has received a special gift, so we should employ it in serving one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. All right, so we're empowered. Uh, you know, and, and we have the right to become, but but this 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 is also empowered that we have the, the we, we are empowered by the Holy Spirit to be. Uh, you shall be. Listen to this. Uh, Acts one eight. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you shall be my witnesses. All right. So so by being empowered, you know this gift that we receive becomes the gift that we then can give. All right. And you know love was shown to us at Bethlehem. You know Jesus being born there. You know what was it that, that we received? Okay. Uh, remember what you were. Remember what, what what God is causing you to be in the in the present time, and understand that we haven't yet figured out what we're going to be. First. John 3, 1 through 3 says this, See how great a love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called what? You guessed it, the children of God. And each uh, and, and such we are. For this reason, the world does not know us. Do you recognize this from the, the Gospel of John? All right, so, so because we're born from him, the world doesn't know us, just like it didn't know him. Beloved, now we are the children of God and has not yet appeared what we will be. All right, and it says that everyone who has uh, this hope uh, fixed uh, on him purifies himself even as he is pure. All right, so the message of salvation that began to unfold that night was a message of great joy for all. And we are the children of God, those that, that, that God is charged with, with, with spreading that message. Luke 2, 8 through 11 eventually comes down to saying this, that the angel said this, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, there has been born for you a Savior who is Christ the Lord. So God gave us this gift to make us a gift. You know, you want to be a gift from God to, to those around you? You want to be the one this holiday season that becomes the, the means by which uh, God brings his love and his mercy and his salvation to, to people around you? I'm just going to summarize what we've talked about here and just say, believe him. All right, receive him. All right, be a child of God. Have his character. You know, that's, that's a daily pursuit, to pursue God. I, I want to be like you. Help, you know, form your character in me. Change my heart. Okay, follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. That's how we become children of God. All right, and exercise that gift that God has given to you. All right, pray uh, for, uh, for, for more Holy Spirit power. Be a witness, all right? Believe, you know, now we are the children of God. We have the good news of great joy for all people. So in this season, uh, when we celebrate the birth of Christ, well, I'd encourage you, you know, be one who has received Christ and is exercising that right to do as you choose and become one of God's children in this world. And with that, I'm going to say God bless you. We'll see you next time in the 10-minute video summary.